tight squeeze. Definitely a toss up between that and turret. Good morning, it's 4.47 a.m. and we're headed to Canyonlands right now to hike Mesa Arch for sunrise. All right, so we made it to the Mesa Arch trailhead. Now we are on our way on a quick hike. It's only like 0.3 miles round trip. Sarah's on a mission and I'm just trying to keep up. So if you wanna to come to Mesa Arch, definitely come after sunrise. We came for sunrise and it was so crowded. We couldn't even get a picture of the arch and then what is it, an hour after now, and like nobody's here. I'm glad we came for sunrise because it was beautiful, but I probably won't do it again because it was so crowded. There are plenty of other trails where you can go watch the sunrise and be a little bit more private. Tight squeeze. And we're off. Really strenuous hike right now. Um, we're on a paved sidewalk. Parking lot is right there. And the end of the trail, if you want to call it that, is right here. Something funny about being out here is you feel like you have to be really, really quiet because there's no noise at all. Like you hear nothing, no other people, maybe a couple birds, but that's it. So Sarah and I have been like whispering the whole time, but in reality, we're literally just Hello. outside in nature alone, which is awesome. We just pulled over on Schaefer's Trail Overview because it has some beautiful views of the canyon. Well, after that quick pit stop, we are off to Arches National Park. So we are just arriving at Arches and we're headed to the double arch first. I absolutely lied. We are not going into Arches right now because the park is full. We will keep you updated because the sign said, come back in three to five hours. We finally made it to Arches. We came back three hours later and there was no sign that said the lot was full. The past three hours, we went for a walk in a local park, saw the beautiful river, and we also made some lunch. It was delicious. Can't wait to show you Arches. We just parked in Arches. We're gonna do uh, turret and window arch first, I believe. Sarah knows way better than I do. Our goal for today is to stay positive despite being hot. Yes, so it's 100 degrees, but we are happy. We are coming up on our first arch of the day, turret arch. Okay, well, uh, turret arch so far, our favorite arch. Now we're going to the rest of the windows loop. We're seeing north window and south window. Nobody's here, which is awesome. Okay, south window arch is behind me, and it was a cool one. I, I really liked that one. North window is by far the most crowded arch. We think everybody is trying to do what we're doing and trying to find some shade to sit in, have some water and relax, but we're just gonna do that at the van. Off to double arch. Oh, <laughs> got it. <laughs> Quick snack break before we head over to double arches. A nice crispy apple for us. That looks so good, true thing in that bike. So we're definitely not like lazy. We're definitely athletic and we love to get outside and be in nature and hike and stuff, but when you see a hike on the trailhead that says elevation change is negligible, you just kind of got to appreciate it and just really enjoy that. Reading about this arch, these double arches were formed when a pool of water collected on the top and then at, over time it slowly dripped down into the sandstone and created this alcove which basically created the two double arches that we're going to see in a minute. Well, 
double arch was awesome. Definitely a toss up between that and turret. More people there, however, you can kind of spread out, get some good pictures without people in them, depending you on the angles. You can probably come earlier. Yeah, definitely. And now we're off Delicate Arch. It's hot. It's 100. Made it to the Delicate Arch Trailhead. I'm gonna grab some Gatorades for us because it is hot out. So we uh, saved the longest hike of the day for last. We are definitely almost there. A lot of people passing us on the way down saying that we're close. We are very sweaty if you can't tell. Sarah's not sweating allegedly, even though she sweats the most. Well, after a sweaty hike, we finally made it to Delicate Arch, right behind me. So despite it being really, really hot and the middle of the day, we came at a really good time because not many people are here. So we should have ample opportunity to sit and relax in some shade and hopefully get some solid pictures out of it. People usually wait 45 minutes to take a picture under the arch and there's still one right now. Yeah, we should be able to take a picture in like we two seconds. On it. We just got to our campsite at Muley Point Overlook, Overview. It, it was an interesting ride in here for sure. We drove by some cows, uh, saw a deer that almost went in the road, kind of scared us a little bit, but we made it. We are exhausted. We have a long day tomorrow. Got to drive out of here. That's going to be a process. It's a very bumpy dirt road. And then we're going to go to Monument Valley for sunrise. Good night. Sheesh! <laughs> Sweet. Re rock. It's messy in there. It is locked. It's really messy. Oh, that's locked.